is if he has a patented advanced state, which is really good. Yoshio making the most out of these combos at early percents. Rob, Rob is a big boy, so being able to combo him at lower percents really has been working wonders for Yoshio. Good read on the ledge get up. Oh, we got a down throw. No, did not convert anything off of it. But he tried to go for that up tilt into up B, which works wonders against uh, most of the cast. Nice parry on the uh, gyro. Another nice carry on the gyro. Yoshio is just reading where these projectiles are going to go. He's going to down throw it. He's going to get knocked up. And the down throw into the flailing arms not going to work. Yoshio is too smart for that. And... Oh man, that, that up, up there did not kill. He's gonna down throw again. Up air, again not killing. This is crazy. He's making Samus look like a big heavyweight. And then finally gets the kill with the up throw. But Yoshio by no means is out of this. He, all he needs is just to get one stock and he's right back in this game. Yoshio converting off of that light charge shot with the dash attack. Getting judgment off stage and reading the re-grab with the down smash. Up throw. Tries to land the forward air, does not convert anything off of it. The charge shot hitting Jonathan. now he's stuck on ledge. And this is where it gets really scary when you're in the corner versus Samus. Samus has the tools necessary to keep you in the corner, but Jonathan doesn't really care about that too much. He's finding ways to get out, and he's finding ways to make the most out of these opportunities. Yoshio. And he, all he needed was a couple interactions, and now he's back in the lead. The down smash again catching Jonathan. Jonathan shaking his head, and honestly, I can't blame him. It must be tough being on ledge versus Samus. Because Samus is a character that really thrives off of advantage, especially when your opponents are in the corner. Jonathan trying to get the stock before things get out of hand. Can he do it? Yes. Dark Samus has a really good grab. You know, for a tether grab, it's actually not that bad. It's really good. What he, what he does is that he conditions people to shield, and then he goes in with the tether grab. Really smart. But now Jonathan's advantage state, this is what makes him so scary, is that when he gets into advantage, it feels like you can never truly get out of it. The spike. Back air. Really good percent from Yoshio. Gets the back air. Alright. It's a, he's an even set so far, but all it takes is one hit, and Yoshio is back in the lead again. Gets the forward throw. Now Jonathan's stuck in the corner. Jonathan is concentrating as hard as he can. Tries to get back on. The up B kills. And Yoshio takes game one from Jonathan G. Wow. That was one exciting game one. We'll see what happens game two. But so far, so good. As Yoshio takes game one from uh, the clutches of defeat. Alright, they're going to go to the Tekken series music. I like that. Okay. Stop battle. Drop. Good. Stop. 
All right, Dark Samus versus Rob again. I guess he's just not confident in the Yoshi Rob matchup. Mostly, I think, because Rob could probably keep Yoshi away. So I guess it is better to go Dark Samus here. Jonathan already has Yoshio stuck in the corner. All right, gets the up B. Open Yoshio trying to bring it back. Here it is. Another good up B. Really smart option. It's been even so far. There's really not one player that has truly the advantage here. Every time it looks like one of the players is going to go off to a crazy lead, the other one just gets the hit in and just makes it go back to even again. Gets a really good up B. Oh, and now it's a really impatient up B from Yoshio. If I were him, I would have waited a little bit before going for that. What the fuck? <laughs> Jonathan trying to keep Yoshio in disadvantage. But it's not looking so easy. Oh, he tried getting that down smash, but it didn't connect. It has just been crazy even. Both these players are showing what they got. It is really good. Jonathan gets an up throw. That's not going to be the stock. I thought it was. But um, Yoshio is showing that he can live as long as he needs to. And that's just what makes Yoshio so good. How he was able to get off ledge there is something that I don't see many other Samus's go for. Uh, and oh the up air not oh. killing. That is just really unfortunate for Jonathan. Making it look like it was going to kill and unfortunately it just wasn't enough. That Nair finally going to take it. Jonathan getting that up there. He wants to capitalize and make the most off of this big lead that he has. But Yoshio trying to get the stock any way he can, and now he, he, he got it. Up throw. Forward air. Oh, he was going for it all, but not quite for Jonathan. That was so close. And now Yoshio is going to try and make him pay for it. Oh, almost SDs. But we're still back in this, boys and girls. All right. Gets the Nair. Looking for a back air. Not going to get it. Yoshio's turn now to get Jonathan on ledge. And Jonathan just gets off at the greatest of ease. Gets the down throw. Tries to do the flailing arms. It does not work. Unfortunately for Jonathan, it, the flailing arms just didn't work out. Unfortunate for Jonathan Gamer. Oh, but that fair is going to be enough to kill. And now Jonathan has a really big lead. I said it was looking even, but now this is definitely Jonathan's game to win right here. Oh, Yoshio is looking for it all with that up B read, but uh, he didn't go for it. That time he goes for it. Uh oh. Gets that back air. And the four smash roll read. And you see Jonathan roll his eyes. He was not expecting that to catch him at all. But he is going to make the most out of it with his advantage. He's going to bounce right back. Yoshio. What has Yoshio got? What is the answer to Jonathan G's advantage state? Gets the gyro. He's just going to hold him at ledge. Oh! That was really good from Jonathan G. What a great corner setup. And now we're going to a game three.
amazing stock from Jonathan G. How he was able to take that and just hold his advantage state and just make the most out of every opportunity that was given to him. Absolutely amazing work. Everyone's saying good stuff, really good stuff. And I agree, it was really good from Jonathan G right there. Yoshio's gonna stick to his guns, he's gonna stay Dark Samus. He is not gonna switch off of it. And honestly, why should he? It is his best character. It's what honestly wins him lots of games. So by all means, stick with it. And now Yoshio is going to play really aggressive. When Yoshio plays aggressive, that's when you know, like, things are about to get real. Some players can crumble when typically zoners get a little bit aggressive and start pressing a lot of buttons on you. But let's see if Jonathan can, uh, you know, not crack under the pressure. Yoshio keeping him on the, the corner of the stage has kept him there for a while. Finally, Jonathan gets back to center. And let's see. Oh, gets a Nair. We'll see. Oh, that up tilt, that's going to be it. And Yoshio gets a big lead. It's not over though. Jonathan has shown that if you play in a smart enough advantage state, that you can make the most out of any opportunity, and you can. We, we'll see what he's able to do. Oh, missed that grab. Yoshio is just running away with this. He's just gotten so much advantage, so much percent lead. But Rob is a character where it doesn't matter. It does not matter how much percent you have. He will cheese you. Oh my god. Yoshio making that back. Honestly, I wouldn't. But that's the reason why I go 1-2 uh, and, and Yoshio is uh, making top 8 <laughs> week after week. That was great. Oh, and that Nair connecting. Yoshio just kept Jonathan Gamer on ledge as if to say my turn when it comes to advantage. Oh my, but Jonathan trying to bounce right back. Trying to at least put something into this. Trying to show what he can do. Finally gets it, but oh no. He didn't quite get the read. And the frustration showing. Yoshio keeping him on ledge. Four throw. Not enough. A nice tether grab. And Yoshio's at 212%. Finally gets it. But it's never over until it's over. I, I still have faith that Jonathan can do this if he just plays the next two stocks absolutely perfect. And right, so far so good. He's taking Yoshio to 36%. He is doing his absolute best, but sometimes your best isn't enough as Yoshio takes it 2-0, 2-1, 2-1.